these guys are like little piranhas. Little piranhas. Oh. No, sorry. I'm doing something different today. It's after work and I wanted to do a little quick fishing. And I'm in a very shallow canal area. And it's a very urban part of town. And I'm gonna see if I can catch bluegill. I'm gonna try to use this jig head, it's very light. I'm just gonna run it across the bottom of the water and see if I can catch something. Oh, I see a turtle actually. Big turtle. Big, big, big turtle. Hopefully we don't catch the turtle, but we catch some small fish. It's bite-sized fishing day. Thanks for joining me. It's gonna be that small. We'll put it on the jig head. Just pull off the size you want off of this. Yeah. Oh my god. First cast. First cast. Look at that. From way up here, I can't tell how, how big they are. That is nice. That's a beauty. It's a pumpkin seed. As soon as I dropped this down there, I saw a dozen chase. Chase this bait. Believe me, these fish are not getting much to eat here, <laughs> it seems, because this canal is like dead. The water is still. They're not getting any food pushed towards them, upriver or downriver. It's just a slow moving canal. It's a fat one. Let's measure it at least five inches. I'm gonna to toss it into the deep part of the canal so that it doesn't disturb the rest of the fish. My big catch of the day, first one. See if we can catch some more. The deepest part is probably only a, a foot and a half deep, but I'll let you go. I don't have my zoom camera with me, so this is the best I can do. I have a GoPro and I'm gonna drop the jig head right down there. Bluegill. Huge. His mouth is a little weird. Maybe he was caught before, but I can't imagine anybody else really catching much fish around here. Yeah, he's missing a nose, kind of. But look at that. Who knew you could catch a fish like this in a canal? That's dead water. A little over eight inches, eight and a quarter, I'd say. Eight and a quarter. Nice bluegill. Awesome. A little over eight inches. Second catch in a dead canal. Good 
fish. Oh. <laughs> I put a fresh piece of worm on there because I stole the last one and keep the tail nice and short so that the bluegill can chomp on that. Pumpkin seed. Fatty! What do you think? He almost took it all the way in. Luckily not. Very short piece on a very light jig head with red eyes. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Just want to measure you. Just want to measure you. Come on. Come on. Five and a quarter inches. Who knew such a beautiful fish can be in such a urban canal? Oh, nice run. It's really hard to cast with this because the jig head is so light. There we go. There we go. Don't shake off. <laughs> Second biggest. I'm trying to entice the bigger ones. The bigger ones are like, you little guys go for it. I'm not. What do you think of this one? It's a little dirty now because he's fell on the floor, but... Different kind of bluegill. Not the biggest. Got a nice variety of different sizes of sunfish. Six and a half inches. Second biggest one. Nice. checking the hook. <laughs> yeah, second big one. Oh, this one has a bad mouth too. The other big one had a wounded mouth also. A fat. Nice size also. Eight inches. Size fishing after work. The smallest. <laughs> the smallest. How small can you go? I ask you that. Okay, 
I'm just going to cast a few more times. I put a fresh piece of uh, floating trout worm on there. We're probably going to steal it, but let's see if we can catch a few more and we'll wrap it up. But anyway, I just want to say, if this is the first time you're watching my video, please consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching. Your likes and your comments inspire me to keep going, bringing you fun videos. So let's try this a little more and we'll wrap it up soon. But thanks again for watching. Getting action in a canal, you would never think there's fish there. Well, I was hoping for a, a big one to end the session, but I got the smallest. This is my big catch to end the session. Bye bye.